Just a potter in his cockpit seated Black leather on his ass Keep a hustler heated Okay, here I'm going to be showing you guys Access Tuner and that is the uh, Cobb software to uh, tune your car yourself. Um, the first thing you have to do is buy it and I'll show you that. I'll show you the whole process. I'm not even done taking the classes so I'll just go through the entire thing um, with you and hopefully some people can give me some, some, some pointers on tuning. Obviously I don't know how to tune like I've never done it but I plan on taking it very slowly and kind of uh, uh, just making small changes and, and seeing how they work and a lot of data logging and hopefully I'll get a lot of help from other people. Uh, I don't want to do anything dangerous, put the car in, in, in danger and risk blowing it up. So very small changes and there's a few things that, I, some ideas that I have that most of the tuners don't seem to implement, um, such as uh, limiting the boost by temperature. Um, so when the car's warmed up, it won't boost. So you don't have to baby it as much because it just won't, it'll just build boost on the spring which I think is like seven pounds or something like that and I know this is crazy no no everyone's gonna attack me probably for it but I want to tune the car to be able to run on 87 octane also not that I'll run it on 87 octane all the time but I would like to have the option just in case um, zombie apocalypse or something like that and I only can only siphon 87 out of some cars or something like that um, they will need 87 tune so whatever, whatever the reason is I think that's a, just a good thing if that if I have the option to run it on 87 I can because I know even stock the car won't run reliably on 87. So here I'm going to show you how to how you purchase the software, and then um, in the next video I'll show you all the all the courses. I of course can't post the courses, but I can show you what's in them and just like a little bit of it, um, and then you can decide from there. So here it goes. Um, what you want to do is go into the Cobb website, search for Access Tuner, and you can see they have it for a bunch of different makes. So you're going to just want to make sure you're on the Subaru Access Tuner. And then it's going to give you all of the requirements. It shows no cost for the software, but it's actually $150 for the EFI University course. The software is free, but the course is required to download the software. So you can't get the software until you take the course for $150. Bucks. So one of the things to keep in mind is that it locks the tune to your specific car. So you're going to need to give them your Cobb serial number, and that's going to uh, make the software locked to your specific car. So you're not going to have the option to tune other people's cars or anything like that it's only going to be your particular car and i think you can lock the tunes or unlock the tunes so you can certainly have other people look at them and maybe even modify them if they have the software you're going to need to buy the professional version before you can do that and to buy that you need um, to take even more classes and i think you need to have a shop and all sorts of other stuff okay so once you sign up for your class and you pay the 150 dollars you'll get an email from efi university and from there you'll log in, you'll have to create your own login and everything, but you get logged in and then you'll have a class, a course uh, set available. And once you go in there, you can see you have a bunch of uh, courses you can take for Access Tuner certification. Um, there's a whole bunch of them. There are a lot that are most are just generic and I will uh, post a, an entire list of all the courses in the description just so you can see what's involved. But a lot of them are really good. Most of them just go into basic theory on uh, tuning and modifying, um, lo a lot of good information actually. I, I learned a whole, whole lot of stuff that I didn't know. Um, one of the reasons why I won't get an intake because it's really hard to control uh, the turbulence inside of the mass airflow sensor. And that this went into that quite a bit. And having the mass airflow sensor read correctly and have it calibrated correctly is crucial. So having a, if you do get a tune with your intake, just make sure the tune's de developed exactly for that intake. Because uh, any changes in the turbulence and the diameter and airflow really does cause problems. And it, it, it doesn't run right. So I was kind of skeptical about that at first. But once I understood the theory, this really helped me a lot. So I think these courses are, are excellent. Um, I definitely recommend them to anyone. Even if you don't want to tune the car yourself, it's not a bad idea to just go in there and take these courses and, and learn about tuning and learn about the car. Because they are, are very, 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 very valuable. So here I'm going to show you one of the courses. I'm just going to play it for a second here. The production value is very good on these. Um, the ones that are car specific for the Subaru are kind of crummy, but they're they're still not bad. I mean, they still have really good information, but they don't have as good a production. But as you can see here, this is the one on, on ignitions. Excellent course. I mean, they, they go into boost, ignition, injectors, like everything. Everything you really need to know to do some basic tuning is all in here so it's it's a it's really good it's quite it's it's quite inclusive 
and uh, it really makes you feel comfortable. So this is where I'm here. I'm at now. I'm at 86 percent. I'm still not done with the the courses. Uh, unlike most things where you can just kind of play it in the background and barely pay attention, I actually watch these videos very very carefully and try to make sure I'm noting everything and I'm gathering everything. So I'm not done yet. I will be done probably in the next few days. I bought this quite a while ago, a couple months ago, so I've been going through it really slowly. I've been kind of busy too, so um, as soon as I'm done with this, they will then give me the software and then I will be able to start doing some tuning. Um, I'll probably do some data logs first just to, to see where I'm at and then I'll start the tuning. So I'm just going to be going through this step by step. If anyone has any questions or anything, let me know. I'm just, uh, I'll get the software and then we'll take a look at the software and see what it's like and maybe start making some small changes so any questions or anything let me know just a pilot in this cockpit seated black leather on his ass keep a hustler heated weed is engaged in the pavement brother escorts like i'm seeking arrangements push the gas escalate the gauges escalate hits on the cam